Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning May 22nd, 2023. So we will have an overview here in the beginning and then I will break the messages down into three groups. Timestamps are in the description box. So we have some we have some new beginnings here. But what's interesting is that people are not flowing into it. They're not accepting. They're not saying, okay, I deserve this. Or, yeah, they're saying as things start to change, people start to go into fear mode instead of just allowing things to happen. Yeah, we have the sun, king of Gabriel, manifesting, the star. <laughs> awesome. And three of Raphael. Boys, this is going to be a good week if you allow it. See, that's what they were starting off with is like, there's a lot of good energy here, but a lot of people are not opening and allowing themselves to accept it. So I'm going to read the cards to you because someone's going to ask and you probably can't see that. So forgive me if you're bored of me reading things, but <laughs> we have the sun, Archangel Uriel. Archangel Uriel is all about, along with Archangel Michael, the solar plexus. So this is changing how you see yourself. How do you project yourself out into the world? It's having more courage and confidence but no ego. Now the sun, I guess, could be associated with ego, but this is not the message here, all right? So it's not going into the ego and out of fear trying to figure out the next steps. It's literally listening to your gut, okay? So it says, life is wonderful. Thrive through the power of positive thinking and inspiring success. Let's break that down for a second because a lot of people will think of success as, I got that job I wanted. Well, maybe it won't be like that, but maybe you figure out a way to create your own business, okay? So something is being lifted, as we see throughout the whole story here, but they're saying take, take the moment, take the opportunity, don't keep holding ourselves back with fear, okay? Or, Or limiting, yes, they're saying limiting ourselves. And that's what a lot of people who would be coming across this video would be doing. So allowing the overwhelm to overtake us and then we start falling down in frequency. We think we can't move forward. We're powerless. You know, we don't need to do that. And here we go. King of Gabriel, generous, inspirational, dramatic, driven. Keep your eyes on the big picture. Leave the details to others. Experience that leads to success. There's a second time, right? Yeah, an inspiring success. And then leads to success. Genuine concern for others. If this isn't telling you to take charge of your manifestations, I don't know what is, okay? <laughs> so as things start to change, don't deny the change. Don't, you know, dig your heels in and not allow yourself to take your power, right? Again, I have to say, this isn't about... Oh, that's right. I'm going to go in there and I'm going to rule the world or I'm going to, yeah, okay. You'll be falling on your face, left, right, and center. And we have the star, Archangel Jophiel. Jophiel is associated with the crown chakra, wisdom, allowing divine inspiration to flow through you, but being in a healed enough place where you know to accept it, right? That's the whole theme going on here. So it says a dream come true, believe in yourself. That's the take home, okay? <laughs> believe in yourself the end of a difficult situation. But remember when we're at the end of a difficult situation, we still have a recovery period. And that might be a little bit of what's going on. So this week, I think there's going to be a lot of things put to rest, coming through, accepting a new way, after you realize that you deserve it, but there's like a little need for rest here, okay? And then there's something to celebrate. We have three of Raphael. Reasons to celebrate a community of friends, happy announcements regarding relationships or children, or again, as this whole story is playing out, some good news. Something finally gives, okay? Like if you have been going along and just feeling like, man, I'm just spinning my wheels here. Everything I put my energy into just doesn't work out. I don't know what's going on. You get a sudden bit of inspiration. And when we have the presence of Archangel Jophiel, that's what this is, okay? Jophiel helps you open up to divine love, new ideas coming from source, you know, you being able to pick up on some, some assignment, if you want to see it that way, that you can have manifest through your physicality, okay? Through your physical being. 
What cards do I want to use next? Let's use the uh, crystal deck. I'm going to do that one. I hope that's okay. <laughs> All right. Let's get one more card and then we'll go to the groups. Special thank you to everybody who supports me on Patreon. As always, I'm always trying to come up with new things to do, so I will be making those announcements very soon. Make sure you are following my community tab on YouTube. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram. I'm everywhere. I'm on Pinterest. I'm on TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Covering all the bases. Pink tourmaline forgiveness. Okay. So this is the holdup. This is the holdup. And this isn't just forgiving that person who did something to you or, um, you know, God forbid if anybody had harmed you. I mean, it's part of that, but that's not all of it. This is forgiving yourself. This is forgiving situations. I say that because this is the sort of week where it's so obvious, right? It's, it's just like everything kind of unfolds right in front of you. And you go, why didn't I do this sooner? Why? Oh, gosh, I wasted so much time. You've wasted no time. Forgive yourself, okay? We are in these timelines being the character, if you want to say it that way, that is set up for certain uh, timing, for certain situations. So, no, you did not waste any time. You didn't do anything wrong. Do not hold up the good stuff by regretting your choices, okay? So, well, man, unless you have something to <laughs> go ask for forgiveness for, then, yeah, do that. Make amends. So, anyway... We're going to leave it there for the general and we're going to move on to the groups. Group one, let's see what is going on for you for this week. In addition to the general reading, make sure you listen to that first. That is the base of your message. Okay. All right. And please do your part to make sure that angelic messaging is not getting flooded out. All right. It's important that the angels be heard as well. Okay. Four of Michael. Okay. So this kind of goes along with what we were saying. That's a need to rest. Peace. <laughs> okay, are y'all exhausted? You just can't keep moving on the way that you have? You're coming into your own though. Queen of Raphael, you are managing your emotions, your um, compassion. You know, there, there's a lot of messaging around that. So that might be a little bit of knowing who deserves your compassion. I know what that sounds like. It doesn't sound great. But <laughs> this might be you realizing some people have taken advantage of your kindness and now you know how to not allow that to happen. And then Queen of Michael. Okay. Coming into your power. All right. So let me get these in order here. Okay. There we go. So we have four of Michael first for you. And it says insights that come from quiet meditation, the need for more sleep or time off, seek relief from stress. One of the things that we overlook quite often is... The need for rest. And what I mean by that is not just, oh, I'm tired, let my body rejuvenate. Yeah, that's important. But when your mind is going a mile a minute, you're not going to receive inspiration. You're not going to receive, you know, new ideas and, you know, divine inspiration, all that good stuff. So you need some quiet time. Make sure you are giving yourself space for that. Then we have Peace Osriel. Osriel comes along whenever it's a big transformative transformative kind of moment. And this feels very internal. And yes, you will see it outside of you as well. But this is that sort of thing like if you make peace a priority, 
then what does your life look like? What choices do you need to make in order to have peace? That's what you're dealing with this week. So for some, that might be, you know, I've been hanging on to a relationship for too long. Neither one of us are at peace. I need to figure out what to do here. Or a job. You know, I'm not at peace with this, that, or the other, or being seen this way, or what have you. I'm not at peace with people taking advantage of me. Or, you know, those kinds of things are going to be coming up. So it says release the past. You see the past pattern? You're learning to transform that. There's a more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. Do not keep just, you know, pushing ahead because you need this moment. The four of Michael, the peace card, slow down. You're missing something, okay? So we have Queen of Raphael, kind, understanding, giving, psychic. This is good. Follow your heart, a love of home and family, trustworthy psychic information. That's the deal. Something breaks open for you and you realize... What am I, why am I doing this, right? Like, why am I torturing myself this way? And you start to back up. Now, I'm trying to think of some examples. It might be, I don't know, if you've been looking for a job and you say, I want to make $100,000 a year. Well, that's beautiful to manifest that. But maybe all the offers are coming in at, I don't know, $85,000 a year. And you're saying, no, I said $100,000. Well, this is saying, you know, you might be getting a little bit of a psychic hit that a certain job is perfect for you, go ahead and take the offer now and it could lead up to the kind of salary that you want. You see what I'm saying? But definitely, yeah, I'm hearing you'll know what to let go of. It's that kind of thing where you might have a childhood memory that pops up and you go, you know what? I don't want to carry pain in my heart. I don't want to carry hatred. I, it's not excusing bad behavior, of, of course, but do I want to keep wounding myself with that painful memory? Now, that isn't about denial. It's not about avoiding. It's about truly being in a place that when it pops up for you again, you don't have the same reaction you once did. Okay. Now, we have Queen of Michael, brilliant, self-reliant, insightful, humorous. You know exactly what to do. <laughs> you know what you want to let go of. The benefit of experience, a time for your career rather than relationships. But I would say this is, you know, you've got both here. So this is head and heart going on. And getting back to your point of power. Getting back to what makes you feel good. And what would make you feel good shouldn't be something, and I know that's kind of a dangerous phrase, shouldn't. But let's not have it be a retaliation or vengefulness okay because sometimes people want to do that like i'm in my power now and now i'm gonna fight then you've missed the point you will be knocked down and you will have to go back to the beginning and figure out what that soul lesson is oh oh <laughs> we have a master teacher card divine temple source that's the point that's the point quiet your mind quiet your heart get back in touch your spiritual wellness matters, okay? So make sure that is the priority. And being a part of source, you know, we're all a part of source, okay? We're all one. So if there's something in someone else that you don't really like, there's an aspect there, see where you can heal that within you. And I know that's kind of weird and that gets into a big conversation, but once we heal that within ourselves, it does help the collective, we may not see it because all we do as humans is focus on who's still acting up, right? For good reason, because those people can be dangerous, <laughs> right? So got to keep an eye on them. But make sure you're not um, shoving all the hurt and pain and saying, that's someone else. That's not me. Or I do good and everybody else is bad. No, we're all one. And th somehow, some way, this is a big lesson that we're all coming into. And somehow we're going to be forced to come together. So this is priming you for that, okay? So I'm going to leave there and get on to group two. Hello, group two. Let's see what is going on for all of you. Please remember to go back and watch the base part of your message, okay? This builds upon that. And also, please do your part in making sure that angelic messaging does not get trampled on, okay? <laughs> so, you know, don't let the voices of the angels coming through and really trying to guide us get drowned out by shallow messaging, God forbid, 
like dark stuff, you know, we don't, we don't want that. All right. What do you guys have? Justice. Okay. So there's an equalizing. I just felt that like everything starts to become fair. Now, a lot of times when people get this card or they hear that word justice, they see themselves as victims. They're ready for someone else to get theirs. <laughs> and I understand, but Raguel is here. Archangel Raguel talks about taking accountability. What is your part in the situation? Or if you say, no, I'm literally in this situation where this person is an abuser and they're doing this to me. Um, you know, it doesn't mean that that's your fault, but that is a moment where you try to get your strength back. Okay. Get your sense of self-esteem back. Of course, if that is your situation, make sure you get proper help, whatever that looks like for where you live. Okay. And whatever your situation is. So this, uh, the number is eight on here, which is all about abundance, balancing, uh, give and take a free flow. All right. Fight for justice and equality. Rulings made in your favor. Don't give up. But more than anything, I mean, you could take that message that's on the card, but more than anything, this is equalizing a situation and that might include, it might include like a sudden wake up call for you. Like you always saw a situation in a certain way and then all of a sudden one day you're like, wait, what? That's, that's what? That's the part of it that I was missing this whole time. But Raghu is about playing nice with others. So this isn't about, like I said, retaliation revenge, you know, seeing yourself as the victim, the other person is like doing, you know, like you get the full picture and you get a deeper understanding. Okay. So we have solutions. This is what's opening the door for things to get moving. It's Archangel Zadkiel. So Zadkiel, very interesting energy to show up right after Raguel. So Raguel helps you have a deeper understanding of kind of where everyone's coming from, being a little more fair. And then Zadkiel comes in and says, okay, now you get to transmute the situation. So the fights or the disagreements still occurred. They're still there. And yet how you feel about it is different. Okay. That's Zodkiel. That's what he helps us do. Success that comes from objective compromise. There's the word self-control and patience for giving and healing energy. Now be careful with this. If you go up to somebody and you say, I forgive you. And they're like, for what? <laughs> right? That's not the Raguel and Zadkiel kind of energy. Just catch yourself. Catch yourself where that ego is getting out of control. Okay. The high priestess, the number is two. Balancing, we have the justice with the scales. There's a little bit of messaging going on with that. It's Archangel Haniel. Haniel is about the divine feminine. She's about moon phases and, um, you know, especially full moon energy that exposes. All right. So a deeper understanding. Powerful psychic insights, reflection and meditation that provides valuable information, be at peace. Do not hang on to what you think you know, because it is going to get broken wide open this week. And it, there might be a little guilt that comes with this, where it's like, oh man, I hated somebody for so long because of this, that, and the other, and I didn't know that that was going on. It's okay. This is all a lot of powerful energy here, but... Listen to what your heart is telling you. Listen to what your intuition is telling you. Not what others tell you you should think or should feel. What is it for you really? Okay. Eight of Ariel. Moving on and moving up. And it takes a little bit of a learning curve to do that. Take great pride in your excellent work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional education or training. You know, this is on a deep level. But this, if we're giving like a surface level example, this could definitely be someone who says, you know what, I'm not going to put up with this type of environment anymore. Or I'm, you know, if you're somebody who hasn't been given a raise in forever, you know, they're just taking advantage of your know-how, your talents, all that, you might equalize the situation. And then that gives you enough clarity to tap into that intuition, know that maybe it's time to move on. Or if it's not time to move on from a situation like that, maybe it's time to transmute it. Our buddy Zodkiel, <laughs> right? Oh, figuring all that out. I almost dropped the deck. If you know, you know. <laughs> if you don't know, I'm always doing that. Always almost sliding around on my hands. All right. 
Orpiment success. Okay, so things have a good outcome here. So don't mess it up, okay? <laughs> like, you guys are primed for success. It's just, this feels like the final little tying up loose ends, lay, letting things be at rest, taking a different perspective, um, catching yourself when maybe you're, when you're being condescending or you're looking down on other people or you're not seeing the worth in you. you know, whatever it is, that's all balancing out now, okay? And then there's going to be a win here. Get ready for it. <laughs> so we're going to leave it there for you guys and get on to group three. Hello, group three. Let's see what's going on for you. Please make sure that you have listened to the first part of the uh, video because that's the base of your message. Okay. This is just additional information. And please do your part in making sure that making sure that angelic messages do not get buried by darker messages, uh, by distractions. The angels need to be heard now. Okay. Two of Michael. So boy, this is indecision. <laughs> Anytime a card like this pops out, uh, it can be feeling conflicted between who you are now and who you're trying to become. And this says it will all be better if you just make a decision, overanalyzing a problem, find a compromise. So this can be a classic manifestation interrupter, okay? <laughs> Where it's like you can't commit to you know one thing or one idea. Now remember, the universe is here to help and to guide and to show you what's possible. So, you know, you can put out uh, for your manifestation, I want to experience this, you know, if it's, I want some peace in my life. Well, you might start to get, if you live in a big city, you might start to get inspiration to move to a small town and you might be like, eh, but then I'll lose my edge. I used to say this all the time. If I leave New York, I'll lose my edge, you know, <laughs> like, yeah, you know, and then I just realized I don't have to have my guard up all the time. It, it steals my peace. And there's too much commotion and chaos. And, um, you know, when I was younger, New York was great for inspiration because you're around all kinds of artists and very talented people. But for me, being there for as long as I was, I couldn't hear my own thoughts anymore. So what good is it? <laughs> so like, great that you're very inspired, but what can you do with it if you can't focus, right? So <laughs> just take that example. New beginnings. I love it. Archangel Jeremiah. Jeremiah, what? Jeremiah shows up when we have to do a life review. All right. So he is about kind of briefly looking at the past, looking at how you once used to view things and vowing to let that go. And not in this uh, self-helpy kind of way of like, I'm just, you know, I'm just going to talk myself out of feeling anything. That was really mocking. And I didn't mean it that way. Not all self-help things are like that, but Sometimes we do that. We hear how we're supposed to be and we try to mimic that and it's not authentic, okay? This is an authentic review of the past and it says starting a new life, finding your purpose, forgiving a forgiving and compassionate review of the past. So looking at how far you've come and it is sort of like I was saying with the example of New York, like I don't want to lose my edge or, you know, I don't want to give up my security or I don't, you're going to be understanding what direction to go in. Because maybe you'll get to the bottom of why you are where you are. You know, why aren't you making the money that you want to make? And it's okay to make money. All right. It's not, I mean, that's just kind of a part of our 3D reality. Or why aren't you, you know, in the love partnership where you're loved and cherished and you're free to love the other person without them going, you know, calling you clingy or what, you know what I'm saying? Like, some, some being with someone who matches you, maybe evaluating relationships, your health, for sure, your health. If everyone else tells you, oh, running's the way to be healthy, well, maybe you're not built for it. Maybe your joints can't handle it. You see what I'm saying? Like you're evaluating what's good for you. So that takes us back to that uh, two of Michael, where there's this confusion, like I don't know what to think, right? I don't know where to land with this. There will be inspiration coming forward for you. Yeah. The star. Archangel Jophiel, tapping into your wisdom. A dream come true. Believe in yourself. The end of a difficult situation. So this week might start out with confusion, stress. I don't know what to do. And then you take a moment and you realize, wait a minute. Why am I so stressed about this? I've gone through this in my life. I can certainly handle this thing that's on my plate. Why don't I? 
<laughs> All right. So you start healing and you remember what you're made of. Okay. So it's good. It's very good. Three of Raphael. The star in the Three of Raphael came up in the general, right? I don't remember. Already. And I just did it like 20 minutes ago. I don't know. Uh, but if it did, <laughs> that is a double message for you. So this says reasons to celebrate. A community of friends. Happy announcements regarding children. Or excuse me, relationships or children. So definitely some, some good news coming in. Whatever's coming in, it completely shifts your perspective. If you were worried about money, it could be an opportunity to do something that you love. You get paid really well. Maybe it's something that you get to do and be independent. Or if you've been single and you start realizing, you know, I've been shoving love out because of my past experiences. You allow that to be healed. You learn to trust yourself and say, hey, I've learned from that. Now I know who not to let into my life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and now you will have something great opening up for you. So that's amazing. Let's get you a crystal card. Let's see what else we have here for you. Okay. I did feel a little dizzy there for a second. So, and I heard whirlwind. So this week, now hang with me. If you chose this and you get to the end of the week, you're like, it wasn't a whirlwind. It was boring and stupid. Okay. Well, maybe this extends beyond this week, right? But there could be a whirlwind of thoughts, a whirlwind of realizations. Okay. It doesn't have to be overt. Tiger's eye, courage. And it's kind of funny because my nails, and you probably can't see, but they're a little bit like the tiger's eye. <laughs> it's kind of amazing. So this is... Committing to yourself, making the decision to say, okay, I got to get real here. If I'm not at peace doing X, Y, and Z, what will bring me peace? If I am pushing love out, what is that about? If I'm not living my dream, what's holding me back? It's a huge breakthrough week if you put in the work, obviously. It's not just going to fall on your lap. Be courageous. But more be courageous to look at the things that you didn't want to look at before. And make sure you have proper support in doing that. Okay? I'm going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.